Hey everybody, it's Connie. You can um, find me at cardswithconnie.blogspot.com. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'd love for you to come by and visit me. Today we're going to make a card from the reasons for the season and um, I'm really not sure the end result of this because I've thought about it and I hadn't completed a card. I just got to a certain point so that I could show y'all what I had going on in my mind. So, which, ooh, kind of scared how it's going to turn out, but we'll see. Okay, first of all, let me show you. I went ahead and stamped the sentiment, Very Merry Christmas to You, using um, Cherry Cobbler. Okay, let me just kind of set that to the side. And then this is what's going to be a little different. I got a piece of card vellum. I mean, card vellum. I got a piece of vellum. And I ran it through the um, decorative dots impression plate from Stampin' Up! And it came out to look like this. Alright. Okay. And, um, and then I used the poinsettia stamp. And um, I didn't do the outline part, just the inside. And I was going to just do it on a stamp piece, a uh, scrap piece, and give you an idea what that looks like. So, here we go. Let me go ahead and open up my cherry cobbler. And the arrow, you can see it's been well loved on. The arrow is right there on the top. So, I'm going to ink it up a little bit. And then the arrows going one forward, and I just went straight down and straight up like that. Excuse the camera, um, it's rocking because I was cleaning off my stamp. And then, um, and then I got the the poinsettia leaves, and uh, it's okay that your these uh, polymer stamps they. Um, Stain, but it's okay. It's clean. And, um, I, the, for the leaves, I used always artichoke. Okay, and here's the arrow. If you can see it right here, it's going forward. So let me just ink this up a little bit, and then um, I'm gonna go straight down and straight up, and that's how I got that look. Just like that. All right. So I went ahead and just did that all over my card. And um, by the way, my uh, card's going to open up landscape style, and it is four and a fourth by five and a half the card size. And then this will go on top of that. But look at this. I want it to do it this way. And it kind of mutes it a little bit, but I'll show you why. I was thinking that that would make the, um, the poinsettia really pop out. And I did the outline part on this. It's a three three steps to get this. I did it with this. Let me show you. This one right here, you just take it off. You stamp it first. And then do the next two stamps. Uh, the, the next two, like I just showed you for this, on top of that to give it the color. All right. Well, let's put it together and see what we what happens with this card because I'm really not sure what it's going to look like. So I just get some um, glue dots to put on the vellum. Did one in the middle for good measure. There we go. All right. Let's see. It should be pretty. There we go. Let's get to enough. And then I'm gonna put it like this. But first, I'm gonna try something. I'm not too sure how it's gonna look. But we're going to do both of the um, the gold and the silver. From it's in the um, Stampin' Up um, catalog 
let me let me get it so that I don't mislead you. Sorry. Sorry about that. It's in this catalog, the holiday catalog. You can go I hop over to my blog and there's a place uh, there's a picture of the catalog up in the right hand side and it you can open it up and it'll show you everything that's in it. Alright, so let me get a piece of this and stick it right there. Let's see. I'm just um, playing around. And do it three times. Cut that off. And you know what? Silver and gold. Silver and gold. We're going to do both. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Here we go. Well, that glue dot did not hold it. This is going to take a little longer than I anticipated, but we are creating together. Because I don't know what I'm coming up with. We're going to go wrap it about the same amount. There we go. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and get another glue dot and stick it on there for good measure because I just want to make sure that it's on there. Okay, we're going to spread this out a little bit. And, um, let's see. Kind of manipulate them the way I want them to go. And this side too. Every other one. And then what I'll do is spread them out. Like that. How's that? There we go. Then I'm going to get another glue dot and stick it up underneath there like that. There we go. Love it. Um, let's see if we can't put this together and see what it's going to look like. First of all, we're going to do it like that. Let me just get a little glue dot, another one, and we're going to, whoops, so that we can see that. There we go. And I'm going to do it something like that. Okay, let me get my little Stampin' Up Dimensionals, which I adore must say can't help it these things are fabulous let me get one more and this is really too many i think but it'll be all right yes my nails are horrible like i've said in the past i am a nail tech during the day and i've got to get busy and do something to my nails okay i'm going to put that like that. Yay! And then on the card itself, on the card base, um, I'm going to glue it down simply because I, uh, rather than stamp, you know, pop it up, that's what I'm going to do. And we're going to kind of gives you enough little wiggle room I, like I always say that in most of my videos when I use a Tombow glue it kind of gives you the wiggle room to put it down there we go and the color the the paper that I'm using right here is um, whisper white the card stock is the thicker the card base itself is the thicker whisper white and I just use the regular whisper white for my sentiment and for the stamping on the back side 
There we go. Yay. I'm loving it. What do you think? I really like it. Okay, what I think I'm going to do to give it a little pizzazz and a bam, um, I'm going to use a big jewel for the center. There we go. Give it a little something. And then I'm going to use some of the smaller ones. These are cut in a row. I'll put one on the little bumps that's... Whoops. There we go. I'm going to just kind of randomly put a few here and there. Well, oh, I have some small ones still over here. That'll work. There we go. There it is. What do you think? You have to leave me a, um, please leave me a comment on what you think about this card. I, I, um, didn't, wasn't for sure what it was going to turn out to look like. But it's in the same concept as some of the other uh, cards that I made in the past videos that you've seen with the vellum. Um, but I just thought this would be a little something different and my brain's been going on overload. So anyway, I hope you like it. Please leave a comment. Come visit me at cardswithconnie.blogspot.com and check out my blog. And on, on, on that, I will leave everything that I've used on there so that you can find it all and come visit me. Uh, this is the reason for the season and I used Always Artichoke and Cherry Cobbler on the colors. So come visit me. Don't forget cardswithconnie.blogspot.com and follow me. Put in your little email address and anytime I put a post or something it'll come up into your email and um, we'd have fun. I'd love to get to know you that way. So come visit me. Talk to you later. Have a blessed day. Don't forget, leave me a comment.